everyone. Welcome to Science Failure and Soul. Well, um, I guess officially, welcome to my apartment. All of you know that I am now a first year graduate student in the Molecular, Cellular, and Integrative Physiology program at UCLA. I've been getting settled, so that's why I haven't been totally present. Um, but we're working on content. Um, we are still editing content that we already had filmed. And yeah, I'm basically prepping for my first year as a PhD student, which is kind of surreal. <laughs> I felt like I was preparing for so long that now it's here. Like now I'm officially a graduate student. Um, and yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. I'm, it's also the first time I'm adulting, so I'm getting used to checking my credit score and thinking about it and how to make it better and thinking about money management and my finances. I was thinking about what things I could get for my apartment. I'm basically making this space my own uh, because I'm gonna be here for a while. Well, not, not necessarily this apartment, it all depends how long I can have this apartment per se, but I'm gonna be in LA for a while, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been writing for the NSF GRFP, which I'm almost finishing. Um, and then I have to work on my Ford pre-doctoral fellowship application as well that I wanted to apply to. And yeah, I've been going back and forth with my fall rotation mentor who I'm working on working with on my proposal and yeah I'm really excited this is a new journey um, I am excited to see what science I will be doing for my PhD and how much I will be able to contribute to the field I'm excited to become an expert in in my field or in the field I'm getting into and I'm excited for you guys to see all the successes and failures. I'm excited for you guys to see this journey unfold because honestly, I'm also watching it unfold. Um, I believe that many things in life are not due to chance, but I believe that there's a purpose behind everything that happens to us um, and we have the power to basically mold our life. So right now I'm in the stage of kind of molding who I want to be, um, not just professionally and science wise, but also as a person. What woman do I want to be? Um, what values do I want to put out into the world? Let's do this. <laughs> Greetings. So today I'm in the lab, uh, basically doing what is called sleep scoring. So I basically look at data like this one. I'm just looking at different types of waves from EEG, ECG, and EMG. Um, and I basically can tell at what stage of sleep the rat is in, whether that be awake, quiet sleep, transition to REM, REM sleep, so on and so forth. <laughs> Uh, so that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, I apologize, I haven't been able to film, but to be honest, I've just been taking classes through Zoom. Um, and I basically just started working in the lab per se because of this whole COVID thing. Um, so yeah. In addition to looking into ways to be a mentor to students, um, I applied for what's called the GUM program here in, in UCLA, where graduate students can give advice and help undergrads, so basically serve as mentors. That's something I applied to, and in addition to that, um, I was granted the opportunity to participate in the Abercams booth for UCLA. Um, specifically for the GPB program, which is our basically graduate um, program in bioscience. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, so right now I just downloaded some information that I 
should know about the program and just reviewing that. Um, so part of being a graduate student is also being a mentor, um, doing research, covering classes for the first two years. At some point, I'll be a TA next year. So all good things. I promised I would be as open and as honest as I could. Uh -oh. The reason I'm crying is because I got my test scores today for the first um, test that I took for grad school. And I realized I was the lowest grade in the group. Um, and I felt really discouraged with myself. And it has less to do with the actual grade and it has more to do with just me feeling kind of out of place in a way. Like I, I honestly love it here and everyone has been really supportive. Um, and actually, uh, my professor like sent me an email um, just kind of checking in to see like how he could help which I really appreciate but just in a way I kind of I'm feeling the imposter syndrome again if you guys know what that means um, feeling a little bit out of place and I'm feeling a little bit insecure about that I'm just trying to get through the paper for tomorrow. Um, <laughs> and not give up. This is just the first test and I am entirely grateful for where I am um, and for the professors, for everyone who's helped out. I'm just I'm feeling very insecure. <laughs> Greetings. It's December 2nd, 2020. And it's been some time since that last clip you just watched. Um, I apologize if it can be uncomfortable to watch someone cry on camera. <laughs> um, but I wanted to include it because it's, it's the reality of my process and my experience. Um, and I think a lot of us go through stages of that nature where you feel anxiety, you feel insecurity, you feel imposter syndrome, you feel like you're not enough, you doubt yourself and, and the fact that, that you're in this space and time, right? So I include it to show you all that it's a roller coaster as life is. And if you really want something, you'll work at it. Um, do I feel 100% confident in myself? No. <laughs> But I can say that I feel a lot better now reading papers and I'm still working on my discussion skills. Um, but it, it, again, it's all part of the process and I'm getting better. I'm understanding the material more, I'm learning, um, which is you know the best part of it all. And you know, we're all trying to become somewhat experts <laughs> in the field and just trying to contribute and you know, you should always keep in mind that, you know, higher perspective of why you're doing this. Because sometimes you're, you're gonna feel your worst and, and you need something to propel you forward, you know, to push you toward, you know, completing the degree, which is what we all want to become doctors. Um, so at the end of the day, accept that it's all part of the process and work at it and just try and look at it as a learning experience, which is what I'm trying to do. Um, and again, I have still bad days, not as bad as that. Um, I feel a lot better and sometimes I'll, I'll feel insecure in myself, but I feel a lot better. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna end this video here um, and stay tuned for more. I promise that as soon as I get more content, I will upload. <laughs> specifically about my graduate school experience, but 
as always, many blessings to you all. May the force be with you and accept the things you can't change and change the things you cannot accept. And most likely I said that wrong, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> Insert of the actual <laughs> saying. <laughs>